did not lead to what all of us were expecting. We had crises when we were going to the elections. We lost three of them. Thankfully, we were able to address one or start one from the NDC in Lampusi. The Lampusi experience is something that I can attribute it to your able chairman of the street. It was a last three decision that you called me that we need to take a decision as to whether or not we should allow our candidates to contest. And with good reason, we decided that honorable, we decided that honorable member of parliament representing La Busi should be allowed to contest. I think that you deserve a better plan. Bishop 
of information, one minister or the other, telling us what they've been doing in their ministries. Can't they the Jubilee House and Face also go ahead to let us know what the president is doing? On Wednesday, the Minister of Information is also go ahead and let us know what the president is doing. Then on Friday, the PAC is uh, organizing press conferences to let us know activities of the party and activities of the party. It is not going to remain at the national. We are going to very soon come to the regions, just as the directors have started, to have an interaction with the regional uh, communication team, audit it, and make sure that we have communication that is fit for the purpose of this region. At the consequence level, we are aware many of you are communicators, the have communication officers. We are also looking at how best we can also working tools and also ensure that we resource them enough for them to be able to combat the negative perception of what government is doing by our opponents and sometimes by ourselves as well. It is important that we do that. We've also as a party for almost about 22 days ago sent out police station registers to all the consequences uh, meant for the police station. We said that between 10th September and 30th September was a mass registration that all members of our party at all police stations must go to their police station executives to have their names down. We take their contact numbers, their details, their house numbers and all that. This is an ongoing process. But because we did a mass registration for almost 20 days. We expect that the chairman and the region will ask the constituency to collect back all the police station registers. Because they've also been given constituency registers so that they can record the names from the police station registers into the constituency register. We have just about two weeks to do that. After that has been done by the constituency Secretariat to send back the registers to the police station because it is an ongoing process. It, because if you look at the police station registers, it contains not less than thousand spaces for members to write their names. There's no police station in this country that have the uh, thousand on the register. So if you need the register from anybody, the register will be there forever. So there's no point in doing that at all. I expect that after the two weeks uh, stop taking, the registers will go back to the uh, and it will go back to the police station for them to continue the work that they are doing. And I'm happy that, but apart from a few places, that's a few people were trying to hide the register from, from others. We have over 38,000 police stations. So if you have one or two places, I think that you've done the, the human job and you are going to continue to do the job for the party. Very soon, and I think that most of you have seen in your constituency, IT team from Accra, from the headquarters, has visited your constituency, had some training for most of you, about six from each constituency. This is meant for the upcoming rolling out of the advanced ID card. After they do their exercise and report back, uh, we will roll out the party ID card. The timetable will be given to you so that each and every member of our party who wants to get the new ID card just walk to the police station or an electoral area or a constituency. We will provide you with membership forms for the person to fill. But in this modern times, you can upload it on the internet. But it will not end there. Anybody that uploads it on the internet must come to the police station, must come to the electoral area, must come to the constituency for a government. For it to be done for the person. When you upload it, it comes straight to headquarters. We print the card, the periodically the original part.
It is important that we do that. Because if we don't, just as they did after the course of 2008, we'll go back to the same context where NHS is down, school feeding program is down, and remember, I think there's school feeding program, the ladies are here, I think that they are smiling now. And just as we said, the next academic year, we are going to make sure that all primary schools in the country enjoy the school feeding program. This is something that is only the new better that we can only break the age of unity. We can only break the age of selflessness. We can only break the age of education. We can only break the age of art. We can only break the age of strategic thinking. We can only break the age when we rely on our God for his message on, on the party and our government. And I can assure you, working together, working together, working together, they will to not only break the age, to break the age, break the job, break the system, break the age, 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 break the This is the part of the choice. I want to believe that we should not take the upcoming internal elections just as your mama said we should take it to do or die. We should not take our own internal elections to do or die. And if we are able to do that successfully, early next year, police station elections should be done, electoral area or data elections should be done around February, March, uh, regional elections should be done around April, May, national elections should be done around June, July. Then after that, we will have to only two elections, that presidential and parliamentary. And I believe that, just as Frederick Warren said, it doesn't matter who is on our ticket. If we work together as a people, if we support this government, including supporting our MNPCs, they also supporting us. Inshallah, 2024 will come and we'll forget about but by the time we get to the world, we've only broken and we've done the record, and it's not just record for ourselves, it is record for the people of this country, it is record for people who have sat money and increased our, our productive success, it is record for victory for our dear nation. I want to use this occasion to thank you, to thank you, have a very successful conference. And I believe that after this conference, we will all be fired up to go back to our constituencies to continue to work. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. The sounds of our time. Echo. The sounds.